we've got a growing problem in this, my beloved country, our beloved country, the United Kingdom, uh, with extremism. Uh, it's a very serious issue. <coughs> I'm not talking about the secret footage of uh, Islamic extremism preached uh, in some of, some of our mosques. I'm not talking about the carnage on the streets of London, uh, Manchester and Glasgow. Uh, I'm referring to a more common form of extremism which has accelerated in the last three years uh, and I think it can be categorized as anti-British racism. Um, last night I was sworn at, shouted at so aggressively that I could feel his spit on my face uh, and abused to the point that his friend, his girlfriend, had to restrain him by a young man called John, who works for the Daily Mail. He called me racist and he called me homophobe uh, without offering any reasons for that. I hadn't said anything to provoke that kind of uh, abusive attack. The freedom to do whatever you want is always loved by business. Democracy is always loved by business. Business will thrive if it's free to do so. That's the future we have with Brexit. It's very, very exciting. So that's why I see you know, the party has a future, because we've got youngsters coming in who are excited about the whole idea of independence, of freedom, of freedom of speech, uh, you know, a lot of the things that we're talking about, you know, the ways that we want to change this country, in some cases change it back to, the, to, a, to a freer country. Uh, you know, uh, with, with a simpler law. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's got a great future. We've got the youngsters coming in. Let's keep going. We've got a lot to do. Look at our manifesto. There's a lot of stuff in there that we want to see implemented.